So far for the 2009 Carifta Games, it has been a series of highs and lows for Team Turks and Caicos. The golden boy, Randrico Seymour, was edged out of the medal standings in the under-20 boys high jump, finishing fourth. Up next for him is the long jump, where he captured gold in the under-17 division last year. This year, he'll be competing under-20. In the heptathlon, Team TCI could possibly capture silver and bronze medals behind Dorado Fulford and Anthony Clark, who continue to hold second and third place respectively after completing four of the seven required events. Anthony Clark also finished eighth out of 12 competitors in the javelin throw at his first Carifta Games. Over on the track, it was Delano Williams winning his heat in the under-17 boys 100-meter dash to advance to the finals, but was unable to medal, finishing eighth in the finals. Next up for Williams is the finals of the under-17 200-meter dash, which he will go into with the third fastest time. In the under-17 4x100-meter relays, it may have been improper documentation of citizenship that kept Team TCI from ever taking the track. This was expected to be the best under-17 4x100-meter team in recent years, with a very good chance of meddling behind anchor Delano Williams. For the under-24 by 100-meter team, it was once again a botched baton exchange that cost Team TCI a chance at medal. According to team manager Judith Robinson, it was the exchange between the first and second leg that cost the DQ. Cox, who was running the second leg, ran out of room in the exchange box before successfully receiving the baton from Stadman Scott. Sports 4 will continue to keep you posted on Team TCI's performance. For WIV4 Sports, I'm Jody Harvey.